shit. Oh! 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 oh. Pretty girl swag. Guys, welcome back to Jacob V Weekly. As always, we want to start by asking you to support Caddyshack of Hamill, Illinois. That's Caddyshack IL on all platforms. You can find a link to their website on my very own website, jacobv.com. Also, as always, we want to remind you to check out patreon.com slash Jacob V. The Patreon is the only way to support this show financially. And there are more posts of exclusive high definition content than you could ever get through. You could only pay attention to me for the next month of your free time and you would never run out of stuff on the Patreon. It's a dollar a week. Okay. For the love of God. Patreon.com slash Jacob V. You can see a really great live shows by blinded by stereo and no antics on there. There's some Jacob V and the Yes Men content on there. There's exclusive instrumentals. It's really, really great. My guest today, aside from Lucius here. Lucius. Hey. I always love to see you. I always love to see you. But what we have here. Whoa. Is that the chicken Big Mac? This is a chicken Big Mac. Now, if you don't mind me. Coming on in here. You may notice. Why are the cameras in different places today? Boom. Would you look at that? Wow, look at that. Would you just look at it? And so I thought as a conversation piece and a reflection, uh, a state of the union, if you will, I wanted to start this evening with the chicken Big Mac. Now, there's a couple of things I love about the chicken Big Mac. Not a sponsor. I paid full fucking price for this chicken Big Mac. It's like eleven dollars. It's not. It's, lies, it's lies. the same it price. Be. It's like ten cents more than a regular Big Mac, and uh, and it's a lot like a regular Big Mac in all the, those ways. All of the same condiments, the extra bun, but you replace the boeuf with what's French for chicken? Um, pollo. Mm-mm. Boy, you. That's Spanish. Yes, it is. And you'll notice it looks like a formidable opponent because it is taller, because the beef is slimmer. The beef is a smash burger style almost in, in its own way. Uh, it's a thin, thin patty. Uh, so you could put a couple of them on here. The chicken is scarier. I am going to take a bite. I'm not going to make you watch me eat the whole thing. Let's just make it a mukbang. Um, I don't know why we've never done a mukbang because I do mukbangs uh, in private yeah. <laughs> all of the time. I don't know why we've never done one on here. Yeah. So, and I voted in the official poll via McDonald's in the app um, that this is indeed a Big Mac. Yeah. It creates all the same flavors. The chicken is very neutral. It's only the most neutral chicken. Mm. Mm-hmm. Poulet. Poulet. Chicken in French. Now see, my mother hates this. This part here. Where I get Mac sauce in in my beard and I'm trying to clean it up myself in a mirror in a mirrored image. Um so 
That brings me to my next point. Trump was on Rogan. Oh, really? Did you watch that? I did not watch that. Good. Don't bother. Yeah. It's exactly what you would expect, um, except for it never really got heated. They were really on that. They really, you would have thought they were best friends. And uh, and because uh, I'm a Caucasian male, I guess, it's all over my algorithm. I didn't even have to watch the episode to pretty much watch the entire episode by accident. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And um, You say it did not get heated? No, it didn't get heated. Yeah, there were a couple with, things. Like, like, like Rogan people. clarified some things and um, and asked specific questions in, in certain ways to follow up. But uh, no, they were very buddy-buddy. They talked about fighting mostly. Interesting. Fighters they like. Um, and uh, J.D. Vance was on Theo Vaughn and Tim Dillon, both separately, and uh, which is great. I, I don't know if this is going to age well for Theo Vaughn. I don't think so either. I just saw a clip of Theo Vaughn the other day saying that he was unproblematic, which I doubt. Who was unproblematic? That he is. That no, he's he, definitely he is so, a problem. So neutral yeah there's no way yeah mm. what, what would you rate it mm. it's almost i think it's better than a big man mm. i'm gonna say it here first folks wow it's better than a big man i don't like to get a lot of the beef there anyway yeah you know what i mean i can't imagine well now i got that whole e coli the e coli since daddy worked at the one everybody got e coli Mm mm-hmm daddy dt Mm. 45 Mm -hmm. he was out there working at one and then the next day everybody had the the e cola Uh uh-huh they had retraced that back I wonder if it was in the same place. I'm not going to take another bite of that right now. And um, so this is my thing. Uh, the election's coming up. It's next Tuesday. Next so Tuesday. It's a week from tomorrow as we're recording this. This will go out Friday. So this will go out before the election. Yes. Hope, hopefully nothing too crazy comes out between now and Friday. Yeah. And, you know, I think the best thing to tell anyone that would sp- spend the time to watch this to tell you is just if you have an opinion go ahead and vote i'm not going to tell you who to vote for but i think it's going to be better if you have some skin in the game Mm -hmm. you know what i mean um you do not have to drive very far to see political signs that are very different than the ones you might be used to seeing it's kind of crazy well you on your commute see many you Uh, get plenty of opposite yeah Yeah, i see plenty of the opposite i get i get excited when i see my same because it's um yeah especially living in a in a state like we do, you know, it's uh, we're not a swing state, so it's we're not we don't normally feel like our um, voice is being projected. Uh, I can't imagine Kamala's going to have time to do Rogan before then. I wouldn't bother. No. You wouldn't bother if yeah. you were. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. That's not because you, you're not changing you any minds over there. Rogan to you know have the same attitude. Uh, he says he wants her to be on. He wants to talk to her like she's just a normal person. Yeah. And whatnot. But I just don't think she would think that's a good idea. What the fuck are you doing? You took off the bottom bun. Mm-hmm. You cretin. Mm-hmm. But that takes up. That's like the whole part of the Big Mac. Are we just going to open face sandwich this thing now? Yeah, we're going to eat it In vertically layers. now. Yeah. Go individual layers. Yeah, we're going vertically now. Yeah. You know, I had a Big Mac taco the other day. Really? Um, that Rockstar actually made, and that was very delicious. Um, and then um, Kale and my sweets also recreated that, and it was delicious. Mm-hmm. It was like a tortilla, then you put like the ground beef on that, and then you throw it on the grill mm-hmm. or uh, in the pan. And then you make it like that beef already on the tortilla, which is great. So it's not a crumble, it's still a patty. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, fill it with your own secret sauce how do you make your secret sauce um you know what i i think it's like a sweet relish uh mayonnaise maybe ketchup um you know it's her recipe so i'm not 100 percent sure but i know that those were in there as well i don't know if ketchup's in there Mm -hmm. yeah it is yeah with uh you know some at least a little sesame seeds uh 
drizzled on top. It's not a drizzle. You're not drizzling seeds. Sprinkled. Mm -hmm. Sprinkled. You're sprinkling seeds. Yeah, that was absolutely You're delicious. not drizzling seeds. You're not drizzling seeds. Well. Mm. The chicken Big Mac, folks. Nine minutes in, it's definitely more interesting than the upcoming election. Let me tell you that. Mm -hmm. That's grease. Um, did they come out with something else, too? Aside from the chicken Big Mac? <laughs> Taco Bell has a new sauce right now that's really good. What? Yeah, Taco Bell also has, it's like a limited time collab sauce like they do. Mm. Every, it's called the Disha or something. Mm. And the, uh, but you know what's back right now at Taco Bell? Mm. The double decker taco. Oh, really? The OG with the beans in between the tortilla and the crunchy taco. Mm. Yeah. And that's one of my jams. I've had probably 15 of those this week. Wow. I work right by Taco Bell. It's the fastest thing I could possibly get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and that was my favorite. For years, I'd get Double Decker Tacos. Mm -hmm. Is the Mexican pizza gone again, officially? No. Oh, good. And Taco Bell has a, a decades menu coming up where they're going to have... Oh, is the Frito Burrito going to be back? I don't. I didn't see Frito Burrito. God damn. They have a green sauce burrito that they're bringing back. That's from like the 70s. Mm-hmm. They're going to have cups from every decade. They're going to have uh, like a single menu item from each of their historical decades. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's pull that up. Maybe not there. There's a McDonald's in Chicago, I think, that has um, an international menu. All the time? All the time. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Like from other McDonald's in other parts yeah, of the world. Yeah, like it has like the Biscoff McFlurry. Oh, I bet that's good. Oh, delicious! I'm sure. In um, Germany, didn't I have a bag? Oh yeah, like a McDonald's bag. Mm -hmm. Is that it right there? Right here. No, these are napkins. Oh, that is my bag. What was I saying? In Germany, they had a Mick Veggie that I wanted to try. Oh, like a veggie burger? It was a veggie burger. Mm, interesting. And uh, it can't be good. Mm. They don't even try that shit here. I don't know what you're supposed to eat there. No, no. You're about 50-50 on getting it in the bag at this point. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. It's one pickle. Thank God I got it. What did I drop, though? Oh, it's just a napkin. Yeah, yeah, another napkin, too. What? How um, many napkins? I see one napkin. Um, Where were we? We were talking about... Well, technically, we are talking about Taco Bell's menu. And then I talked about the McDonald's international menu. The Biscoff. And then I mentioned the veggie burger. Taco Bell decades. Taco Bell decades. Here we go. Oh, this is from the Taco Bell newsroom. I didn't know they had such a thing. Hmm. Taco Bell brings back nostalgic fan favorites in Nationwide Decades menu. Let's see. There's a um, starting October 31st, the 60s tostada, the 70s green sauce burrito, Ooh. 80s Mexamelt. That's the one I couldn't remember. Mm. 90s was the premiere of the Gordita Supreme. Yeah. Those will all hit menus starting November 21st. Oh, no, those will all start October 31st and November 21st. The 2000s caramel apple empanada will join the menu. Each under $3 for a limited time. Well, that's really, that's a nice twist. Yeah. I didn't know they were going to be under $3. I don't know if this is... Global menu? Sing. I don't know if this is like correct, but it's got like donuts and stuff. Donuts. The chicken Big Mac's obvious. I'm um, so upset that I don't have the apple fritter or like any kind of a grab and go breakfast pastry right now. Oh, they're teaming up with a uh, Krispy Kreme, McDonald's. Like, but but I don't want a Krispy Kreme donut. Yeah 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 yeah. But that is I guess, what they're doing. I guess I do want a Krispy Kreme donut. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's that was the one thing is that like I, I feel like I couldn't get a sweet with my breakfast. 
They're usually like a suite. And they, or, had, they had a cinnamon But sometimes roll for I while, want but... a room temperature suite instead of a savory protein hot option. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whoa! I really have had a, a muted day. I really, I'm figuring out on my way here that part of what gives me life is driving my V8 down Hampton mm-hmm. and um, uh, vibing. Mm. Um and having my my beverages and I didn't do that until I was on my way here today because mm-hmm. I was off today yeah and so I was real sleepy all day and then you got a vibe because I I didn't have enough diet coke enough cannabis or enough junk food mm-hmm. until right about now when I just adjusted that whole chicken now you're getting that wind. So I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, Patreon.com slash Jacob V. Again, I saw the beautiful face of my forthcoming infant this morning on a computer monitor. Hmm. So if you want to spend any of your money on content at all, at any point, for the love of God, hit it up. Patreon.com slash Jacob V. We're in. Um, I'm trying to coordinate a call with Hunter Biden. His schedule's kind of opened up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so there's a couple of people that have reached out about um, calling into the show and doing a shorter thing because I've reached out to them to be on the show. And they're like, well, I can't do, I can't come to St. Louis to be on the show for an hour. Yeah. yeah. However, I could call you for five minutes. Oh, cool. You five know, minutes, that's it. I don't know how long it's going to be. Yeah. But um, who was the guy? Uh, Big Homie CC reached out on youtube Mm -hmm. um because we had a clip especially mentioning him um he was a security professional who knows a lot of famous people in their drama and he's been kind of doing the podcast thing right now nice and he reached out and invited me to um that he's always around if i wanted to collab now that sounds like it could be expensive yeah to do one of big cc huh a big homie cc big homie cc him and his cousin were on no jumper um which is a uh, historically integrated podcast, hmm. and the uh, the stories were great. He knows about like Diddy stuff and like all kinds of stuff like that. But the um, he's always with his cousin. He calls him his cousin, but his cousin like, "Yeah, that's my cousin, but he's my brother." And I'm like, "What?" And I don't actually. And then if you let him keep talking, yeah. you'll figure out they're not actually even related. Uh huh. He's he's my cousin, but he's my brother. But we're not like blood relatives. No. So, um, so I don't know. I don't yeah. know how to decode that. But he said, "Hey," he commented on a clip where we mentioned him, and I guess Opus might have hashtagged his name. Yeah. And so he saw that, and um, but that, it, that would probably be like nine grand to get him to appear. Mm-hmm. Um, well, but patreon.com Patreon, slash Jacob yeah. V if you want us to host Big Homie CC or Hunter Biden $9,000 in the Patreon that's all we need and I always invest that right back into the show so you don't have to worry about that um, who else uh, did we lose Becky Queen of Carpet um, is she deceased Oh, I don't know you know she might be Becky Carpet Queen. She was the Carpet Queen, let me tell you. Dead. Last year. She died last year. That's, last, that's see, right, yeah. See, and she mm-hmm. was reaching out to me saying, I'm sorry I can't be on your podcast. Yeah. Because I'm dead. Mm-hmm. And that's from beyond. She was doing that. May 29th. What Becky about Baton Rothman. Bob? Can we get Baton Bob? Christ Jesus. No internet on my iPad? Yeah. Um. Jeez, what did she die from? Well, she had been real heavy, and then she got gastric bypass, and then, I mean, who knows? Oh, complications from kidney disease. How do you get kidney disease? Ooh. Mm. Yeah, Baton is, um, Baton Bob is a well-known local character and costume street performer currently based in Atlanta, Georgia. We lost Baton Bob to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. He's alive, but that's an expensive trip. But he got married on the steps of the arch and invited everybody. Everybody? Yeah. It was like open to the public. Baton Bob. 
You can get kidney disease from high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, kidney infections, smoking, medications, genetic disorders, blockages, or immune system diseases. So what you're saying is, um, I'm surprised everybody don't have kidney disease. But diabetes is the most common cause of kidney disease, both oh. type 1 and type 2. I think she was probably an early adopter of, part, uh, of type 2, mm -hmm. and um, that's hard to get ahead of. Yeah. When you're like, she was the Wuhan bat of type two diabetes here locally yeah. from my memory. You know who I miss? He lives in Laguna Beach now. Dave Murray. What? The weather guy? Yeah. He's retired and he splits his time um, in Laguna Beach, California. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. He's got to be worth some money. You think. And he's got a new grandbaby. Oh, really? Not brand brand new, but like right around the time he retired, I think his grandbaby was born like a year before he retired really keeping up with him um well he was my number one source of weather every day my whole life until he retired mm -hmm. and he still phones in the weather to the radio and really? stuff <laughs> that's funny he phones in the weather the radio and stuff but when i was a kid every time i was re i really wanted to know for sure how likely it was going to be if i was going to have a snow day yeah dave fucking murray mm -hmm. he'd be there he'd have his top button undone because it's serious it's and he, serious and um and really he changed meteorology and what a weatherman was because he used to be on like the today show or something or like he was on a east coast let's mm. pull this up he was on a national show before he moved here um no not the english guitarist weather not wife i didn't i didn't hit any of that did you see me hit any of that no. dave murray weather um you never stop being the weather man you never stop and he does have he a went lifelong to a place affinity for that weather has the least amount of weather it's like the least amount of weather changes Chief meteorologist Dave Murray, but can I get like a fucking? They got like an IMDb or some shit. How do they spell it? Right there. Meteorologist Dave Murray. Yeah, born on October third, nineteen fifty-six. Oh, happy oh, birthday to uh... Dave Murray! Just a couple weeks ago, and began broadcasting. Uh, blah blah blah. He was on KSDK TV where he remained until nineteen eighty-three, and then he was on ABC. For Good Morning America, not the Today Show. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that was back then. So he started his career in weather here, but he is like an actual scientist, like a guy who understands the science of weather. Now it's that's much more common, but mm -hmm. when he was starting as a local weatherman, most local weathermen were not that. They were the guy who was in charge of checking the weather reports from the National Weather Service mm -hmm. and packaging that for... Uh, the news broadcast that happened multiple times a day. Yeah. Dave really set a new standard for what a weatherman and a meteorologist could be. Mm -hmm. And he actually sat up for many years on um, like the board that certifies those people or whatever professionally. Um, and there's no picture of him here. Uh, that's that's a shame because he's a cutie. He's he's a handsome guy, but a, an embroiled figure in his tenure because uh, people get upset when the weather is wrong, or people get upset when the weather is not the thing that they wish it was. Sure, and um, he had to he had to wear that on his spirit in this strange fickle place of weather we and so he spends at least some of his retired time in laguna beach california where the weather is much more predictable mm -hmm. can i get an amen there he is oh dave uh i think he's got a full beard now though oh really because he's retired maybe he's on instagram david. maybe that's david letterman i'm thinking of that has a full yes beard. he does have a no, not the English guitar player. Yeah, I didn't know that guy was such a big deal. He's got a signature Stratocaster that has two humbuckers, I think. Two full-size humbuckers. Dave Murray. Mm. Um, the guitarist. The English guitarist. Yeah, I've not seen him on Instagram. Like, why, why would he be on there? But, that all being said... Um, God, on Patreon.com, you could see something very exciting that is 
a blessing and a curse that I can't talk about yet. Okay. It's a music video I'm making for a client. And, uh, woo, girl. Ooh. They'll just sell anybody a camera. They, they will just. Will. They if will, too. The money. I've seen them do it. Here's the thing my wife wanted me to, to ask. She doesn't want me to c- declare anything because I really don't know anything. But she, I was talking to her about the show today, and she said, I do need you to talk about this. Have you heard this question? Did Beyonce mistake Liam for Harry and throw the wrong One Direction ear off a balcony? What? <laughs> <coughs> Who's asking this question? People um, on the internet, on Reddit, specifically people that are not me. I can't figure out how to post to Reddit. I always get told I did it wrong. Um, but people on Reddit are asking um, if beyonce was mad at harry styles and then thought liam whichever one died was harry styles and threw him off of that balcony in ecuador or wherever they were at yeah argentina um buenos aries in brazil brazil um that's a really deep question um, I don't know if my conspiracy mind goes that far. You don't think Beyonce would physically throw a young man <laughs> off of a balcony herself? What did she do? Just like appear? Just like people are saying she was staying there, which I don't believe. Oh, look, Beyonce Liam Payne Hotel, Argentina. Argentina. I was right when I said Argentina. Yes, you were right. Is Beyonce behind Liam Payne's tragic death? I was right death? with Buenos Aires, though. <laughs> Buenos Aires is Argentina. Come on. This is irresponsible for them to publish this. Some believe in the flat earth, some in chemtrails, another in the idea that certain famous people may be dead or even alive and hiding. In the age of social media, conspiracies find a fertile ground to thrive. Following the unexpected death of Liam Payne, a new theory has emerged, implicating none other than Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Padidi. Imagine the worldwide shock if this turned out to be true. Uh, uh, uh. One theory suggests that Beyonce was seen staying in the same hotel where Payne tragically fell from a third floor balcony, which doesn't even sound that high. On its own, this fact might seem insignificant, but social media detectives have supposedly found countless other connections between Payne's death and Beyonce. Payne is reported to warn others to ignore Beyonce, even implying that she was dangerous. I don't remember hearing that. Is there a video I'm supposed to watch? I'm not watching. I believe that Beyonce is dangerous, dangerously in love. Yeah. But I don't. Isn't that that song? No, that's Crazy in Love. <laughs> um, crazy in Love. And then Smash Mouth did Accidentally in Love. Yeah, yeah. she danger. Who was dangerously in love? I don't fucking know. I was trying to help you. You got so scared when I started doing the horns at full volume. Yeah, it's so loud. Let <laughs> 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 me jump. Dangerously. Yeah, it's a studio album by Beyonce. It's the same album that has Crazy in Love on it. I'm sure. Yep, crazy in love. Okay, so we were both right. Yes. And what does she mean? She's also by drunk that? in love. When she's also been but, drunk. But this in is about love. being dangerous. This is about being dangerous. Which I do believe that she's dangerous. She told us she was dangerous in 2003. They've been together that long. Yeah. Wrap it up. <laughs> I mean, there were trials and tribulations. We all know. We all know. Um, I mean, what was that? What was the album? Uh, Lemonade. Well, no, Dangerously in Love was the album. I mean, um, the that's where the trials and tribulations came to light. The Becky with the good hair. Yeah, that was Lemonade. I have yeah. that on on yellow vinyl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, but is she capable of throwing? I don't. I think she's smarter than. Well, that's what people are giving her credit. I'm for. not saying. I think she knows who she's throwing off a balcony. Oh, that's also true. She does have arguably a fifth grade education. And, uh, you know, I don't see her doing a lot of writing. Yeah. However, um, I also don't think she would even bother being in the same country as somebody she wanted to have murdered. 
Yeah, she's got. She wouldn't leggies. even have to ask the murderer. Somebody would ask the murderer for somebody who asked the murderer for her. Yeah, she's so far removed from this. She's not getting her hands dirty. <sighs> you guys are being lazy. I just think it's crazy that people are wasting their time. You guys are tracking jets. Was Beyonce's jet down there? Does Beyonce have her own jet? See, I have more questions than answers. Because they're not going to sue me. Because I don't know anything. And um, I did want to pull this up. Um, did you hear the Diddy phone call from jail? No, please play it or tell me about it. We can play the whole thing. Okay. Because I couldn't find a good transcript because I'm the last literate person on earth. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, seriously, you look for things that... I believe it. I'm I mean, not. people are going to start renting DVDs again. That's how dumb people are. I, I you rented a DVD? I, no, don't a child. Say, a child yesterday told can, me that they wanted a CD, though. They wanted a CD player. Just leaked, and it was posted by social details. This is allegedly a call that he had, and there's a lot of talk, a lot of code words in there. So we're going to listen to it together. Check it out. <laughs> Now, this alleged leak call from Diddy in prison was talking about getting rid of pizza boxes. Now, if you know your stuff and you're privy, you know exactly what pizza stands for, and that's probably what they're talking about and referring to on this alleged leak call. Pizza, for those who don't know, I'm going to make it very clean. It- I didn't need that from that guy, but that no, was... No, we have to know what pizza means. Oh, you want to hear from that guy? Well, yeah, I mean, unless you know. Children and selling. alleged phone call he starts talking about someone named jay so he says a couple of things um at first he says make sure you get rid of all of the pizza boxes like we talked about and his son says pizza boxes he says all of the boxes from the pizza and then he says make sure you recycle all the plastic which we have determined in private conversation probably is referring to like data like usb drives mm-hmm. or like sd cards or it, any dvds because he's been doing this for a long time yeah, yeah, yeah he probably even has those little cassettes yeah with who knows on it and um but the pizza boxes is a dog whistle for uh pizza gate which was the theory that there were satanic sex cults that were trafficking yeah. uh, children and uh which i'm not for and just for the record sure because yes, beyonce will get anything on me to try to sue me for even asking that question she'll, throw, you right off a balcony. she'll throw me off a balcony thinking i was somebody she'll else she'll throw you off a second story red roof in she'll throw me out of the lobby of a red roof in thinking i'm somebody else and the um the pizza boxes to me sounds like it could be executed male prostitutes that he wants his uh his son to uh move or, yeah. or destroy remains which uh, would not surprise me there was some people theorizing it could be um mm. you know because that but that wouldn't be good on top of everything he's going through yeah. if they started finding dead prostitutes but that's often referred to as hot dogs i think pizza is often yeah. children it's now pizza sure. boxes could be um a variety of things and uh but then he starts asking in the phone call um has jay reached out yet mm-hmm people would assume jay-z of course and um his son says uh no he's ghosting pop and he says what is this dude doing no uh-huh not ghosting and um and did he then says see everyone's being all quiet because i'm in here but i'm gonna have the last laugh oh, which means no. that if somebody doesn't do something to help diddy out diddy's not maintaining whatever loyalty he's supposed to be upholding to mm-hmm. Jay-Z or Beyonce or Clive Davis, who's a demon, um, which I called. But I believe all victims is my problem. Sure. Clive Davis, 10 years ago, was on TV. Everyone wanted you to think he was a genius, and he invented rock and roll or something from behind the scenes. And, uh, you know, and maybe Jaguar Wright's crazy because we saw her go on TV, and it wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Uh, however... Um, Yikes. Yeah, it's all bad. And I was listening to Janis Joplin today, and I was thinking that man killed her so he could make all these different greatest hits compilations and make all the money, and she didn't have anybody to split it with. She didn't even have family, really. Mm-hmm. 
the estate. I don't know who know who that would be. Her parents are long dead. She was twenty seven. Yeah. This is crazy. And they think they killed Whitney, and they think they killed Prince, and they think they killed Michael Jackson. Yeah. How did, Which, actually, how did if you really go? look into the Michael Jackson stuff, would make a lot of sense because he owned so much of the publishing, and a huge part of Sony was actually um, whichever branch of Sony Music Group that he was a part of or whatever, um, was like 55% of that was royalties that he owned exclusively, and they mm-hmm. like built the company around that. Yeah. So, you know... Which is why he had all that debt when he died, because he had all of this property to borrow against. Yeah. <coughs> he didn't have to uh, spend any of his real money. Um, so, I don't know anything, though. I'm just asking questions. Just asking questions. I'm just asking questions. Please don't try to find me. Um, Hunter Biden's coming on the show. Uh can ask your questions then Uh, yeah you that's that's who the questions are for if you have questions for hunter biden i'm going to talk to him on the phone if you could drop those in the comments that would be better i Mm -hmm. think that's probably a subject we have more we could probably get joe biden on the show after next week oh sure yeah i mean i told joe um not biden joe from this show sure that uh if i was trump after the episode of rogan i'm i would have just pulled up to the white house and it with a u-haul so go watch the app i'll wait right here <laughs> um because it was kind of such a, a softball thing and even in the high definition environment for three hours they sat hmm. and rogan says he didn't pee before during or after interesting he just sat like a chameleon for three hours yeah He's probably bagged up. He's definitely bagged up. And he, he didn't just he didn't eat or drink anything in the studio the entire time. I think that's because he's always paranoid about getting poisoned, and that's actually yeah. part of what he likes about fast food. He said, "I want the poison they give to just everybody. I don't want poison that's made for me." Yeah, um, which I think is brilliant. Do you think Trump has had the new chicken Big Mac? Um, it sounds like he's a man who sticks with what he knows. I think he likes single cheeseburgers. I think he loves single cheeseburgers. I think he likes, he'll tell you he likes the ratio. He said, you know, they came out with the triple. It's too much. Yeah. It's too much. They even, apparently Joe Rogan could see where Trump got shot in the year. And they talked about it on the show, but that's on Trump's other side. Yeah. So, from where he sat. So, I his ear looked fine to me. Yeah. Um... It was just, which, but apparently your ear is full of blood vessels. Yeah, so, so it, was, it was just faster. clipped like a little bit. Yeah, I don't even like, know that the bullet actually made contact. The force of the bullet could have ripped skin oh, off sure. his ear. You know what I mean? Crazy. A high caliber enough bullet. I, you see videos on Instagram when you're trying to use the bathroom that you don't want to see of somebody in like the Middle East and a fifty caliber bullet flies just past their head and it rips their face off because of the force. Wow. Uh, which I'm not for. Not for. I'm not for posting that on Instagram either. Aren't there supposed to be rules? Yeah. I get flagged if I make a clip with a questionable hashtag. A politically charged hashtag is usually what they say. And then, I, but meanwhile, I swipe through my reels and I do follow pages called things like morbid shootings. Yeah, you can't do that. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll get your algorithm... Back in the day, we had live nice leaks. And spicy. Live leaks. We had rotten.com. Rotten? Rotten.com. We had. Um, I don't know if E Bomb's world went into that sort of. It was That was more like stupid, silly stuff. That's like um, the lad Bible. Yeah. Like a guy like tried to take a picture of a giraffe and the giraffe picks him up. Yeah. And then drops him. Um. Which I, I think Happy Tree Friends was probably as as violent as it got on there. Do you remember Joe Cartoon? No. Was that the guy? There was a guy, he would make these cartoons. It mostly involved like hamsters getting murdered. God, I used to watch this every mer- morning. Gerbil. <laughs> 14 years ago. Well, and that's just because it was on YouTube then. This is actually from, like, 2001. Oh, for sure. Look, 2001. I got two words for it. Bite me. Bite me. Yeah. Loser. Booyah, daddy. Booyah, daddy. Hey, look, I'm hamster dancing. Do, 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 do. 
I'm gonna do something to you. Something bad. Uh, Alright, you made your point. <laughs> uh, I was just kidding, but I don't know why. <laughs> hey, knock it off. Stupid cat that told me. Well, I hope you're pleased. I'm naked. Yeah, pervert. That's it. And we would just sit around computers with friends. I'd just sit in front of my this. Windows 98 and yeah. watch this so enthused yeah. playing yeah. The Sims. Yeah. But also, he had a lot of good 9 11 and Osama bin Laden content at the time. Uh-huh. And there was no content, kids, back then. Life goes on, baby. Give it up for DNA. Come on, give it up. Yeah, it's still alive. Sick. I don't even know. I remember thinking, what could that chunk of carcass even be? What could it be? What part of the gerbil was it? Um, yeah, tons of these. It was very, very, it was like early South Park, right? It was like stop motion cartoons you would make. Yeah. Uh, and put little shitty the voiceovers o- over his arm. Um, and uh, yeah, and he had, I mean, Superfly was also a big series of his. It was the fly would always get smashed, but the fly would like cuss at you before you smashed him. Mm. And uh, you know, Bush was in the good White stuff. House. Um, Oprah was still on TV. It was a different millennia, even different millennia. Twenty-two years ago, twenty-three. Jeez, like that. That that. Uh, video could be yeah well and i guess because you would just watch it on his website but now i'm wondering in 2001 how would i even host a video of a shitty cartoon on a website right. that sounds like crazy mm-hmm. now i feel bad for all those times i went to check later in life if that website was back up and i was mad and i'm like because we don't need it anymore because that technology was crazy for that man to be putting that time in not just to make those cartoons but to figure out how to put them on a website back then yeah crazy yeah. Okay. That's a lot. Oh. 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 Last episode is doing pretty well with uh, Sam Dope. If you haven't watched episode 108 yet, please go back and watch uh, with Sam Dope to the Christ degree is what we used to call him back in the day. Um, I've been listening to that Rick Ross jam a lot. Oh, really? And uh, we opened the last episode with that, but it's uh, it's in my playlist for this month now. So I, you know, it comes up quite a bit. Um, it's this year is going to be over before we know it, folks. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. The election is next week. That's the first week of November. My God! And then, and uh, then we're going to have to hear about how the the election was rigged. Either way. Yeah, that's definitely going to be more of a thing. I really just assumed Kamala was going to win. Yeah. Kind of like how I assumed Hillary was going to win, but as we've seen um i've been wrong before yeah and uh i don't even know i don't i don't even know i don't even know that either of them deserve to win on their own but it's obviously not really about that yeah this is big picture yeah it's totally big picture yeah this is there's a lot of different i mean a lot of different consequences and implications yeah i just need some boundaries on body autonomy and whatnot Mm -hmm. for um my uh the you know my sisters abroad uh really before i could uh, entertain um going all nuts on the ticket i think really, mm-hmm. probably for me i hate to take you on the whole trip that's just where it is for me personally i don't even want to know what women are doing with their bodies much less tell them what to do yeah keep that shit to yourself and make the government pay for it even I, if that's i mean if it makes it easier if it's less discriminatory in some way but uh mm-hmm. you know all this having to talk about it on in in the senate um yeah not my vibe not my vibe and uh the wars are bad i don't think wars are good no nope. And um, I think we, you know, we start selling those weapons to the countries that don't think they need them because they just use ours. 
We don't need to keep selling weapons to ourselves and making up wars to get into just so we can sell weapons. Sell weapons to people that don't have them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we got some jets and shit that people in Poland would love to have. Or uh, Argentina, like we talked about. They don't have F-35 Hornets in Argentina. Let's sell them some. Yeah. Okay. Right? I don't know nothing about that. You know, I'm I saying just... that what they do is they say we need to have a war so we can dump endless amounts of money into munitions and supplies that we make ourselves because it's the only thing we still make. Yeah. And uh, to keep our economy growing. And I'm saying, uh, okay, sell them to other people. We don't have to kill people just to sell ourselves weapons. Let's sell the weapons to other people. Mm -hmm. um, now, let's think about that. Let's think about places that don't have uh, defense infrastructure. That we feel like they need. Well, and let's just imagine what they might do with some of it. Okay. Like, imagine, you know, the white room in the Matrix where you could load up anything you need? <laughs> so, your... Here's an idea. Say you're a young Somalian entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. What are you loading up first? I'm loading up um, submarines. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, loading up submarines. You are a genius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, we make submarines. We make submarines. You know who best. might love a submarine? Mm -hmm. Somalians. Mm -hmm. Somalians. The Somalian Submarine Club. Yeah. I'm going to start it to get this thing going to say listen they to, we have to create demand in somalia for submarines yes and so we start there right this is just like cool runnings yeah, yeah with yeah. the jamaican bobsled team yeah you know you have to create the need you have to create the idea that that's even possible for them but once we show little somali boys and girls that they can have a submarine yeah for just 95 payments of 95 95 95 95 probably um, they have control of the waters. Yeah, they have control of all the water. And, them. and what we do is we 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 divvy up the space that they're allowed to operate those in. We, I mean, yeah. they can't drive that submarine all the way back here. But well, I mean, they could. But in or around, no, I'm saying they they're not supposed to though. Oh sure, we sure. do like an invisible fence. Yeah, I gotcha. They're like yeah. you can have There's this submarine, perimeter. but you're only going to use it in your submarine perimeter. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Is that fucked up? Is that going to drive down the cost of the submarines? You know, I think that we're going to have a lot more uh, pirating in, uh, in the future. I think that's going to... Anyway, regardless of who we sell submarines to, you think we're going to have pirates anyway? Oh, possibly. I think definitely. The definitely. wealth inequality, they're still running cruise lines. Cruise lines are going to... It's going to get to a point where a cruise line is like a buffet for pirates. Yeah, or like the really nice cruises are going to have like machine guns on them. Yeah, yeah, it's, exactly. You have, you have to counter. Yeah, you have to counter. You know, yeah, um, that could be smart though. And then guns for every crew. And yeah, and, you're, and, uh, you're going to see a lot more of that. You're going to see a lot more employees of increasingly average businesses have to start carrying guns like as a part of their uniform. I don't know why we're not militarizing corp corporations. You know, I just. Well, that's, I think that's what I'm advocating for. Yeah. I think it sounds you know like what I mean? If you work at a place that might bum somebody out, you might also want to stay strapped. You might want to get the blick out. I, I want to return this shirt, and I can't believe you're not going to let me return it. Boom. Boom. Right in the fucking face. Twice in the sternum. Karen, I, you need to leave, or you're going to get fucking She got. was coming right for us. She had a receipt out and then she 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 went into her purse i would do a warning shot if i even saw somebody coming back do, towards my me warning with a receipt. shot is in a foot you're gonna get a warning shot in the foot ma'am if you want those Next toes one, put dead. that receipt in your purse ma'am i don't want to see a receipt i don't want to see it and uh and that would really boost our dot com numbers i think so i think that people would really start shopping at home then yeah and then well that would shut down the stores shut them down you know Put everything in a vending machine and guard it with the National Guard. We're going to need all those people who lost their jobs to start getting new jobs in transportation and distribution. And... And defense. Defense. Somebody's going to have to clip together these submarines I'm selling to the Somali pirates. 
Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And you could probably fit more in there. A lot of Somali kids. Yeah, I mean, American kids, you can't get that many American kids Mm. in the submarine. Did you hear RFK say that 70% of military-age males in America are ineligible because of their health? Oh, really? I would believe it. I've been saying that for years. And that's why I was never, they used to talk about, is there going to be another draft? Like when and going into Bush's second term, that yeah. was a big thing was, is there going to be another draft? He's like, there's not going to be a draft. And what I heard him say was, look at these pudgy fuckers. I can't do anything <laughs> with them. We need the willing. We need people that have been training for this since birth. Cause yeah. most of y'all ain't it. Yeah. We're actually in danger out there. Most of y'all ain't it. I don't have anybody in my family that wasn't drafted that went to war maybe my grandfather who like he was like a chef in the korean war you know like one of those just like odd jobs but i don't know if he like walked into it you know just like wanting to be in the military if he was just like you know there well he was probably gonna get draft he probably thought he was gonna get drafted if he didn't sign up for something and a lot of people feel like they got preferential treatment for opting in yeah so that's possible Mm -hmm. but um and uh yeah, but that's the thing. Is like, um, let's say they picked up every military age male mm-hmm. in in the neighborhood you live in. People at home, um, how many of them are actually going to be of of use mm-hmm. to the military? Is flat feet still a bad thing? Like, is, I, is I don't think still... that's going to be the problem. Yeah, they make those fancy shoes. You now. know, they let gays in now. They let gays in. That's so, not that's not the problem it used know. to be. And that's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a movie from 1969 called The Gay Deceivers, where it's these two kids who uh, pretend to be gay to get out of the military, but the recruiter mm-hmm. guy keeps coming back to check on them, and so they have to like uphold this charade. Oh, really? And uh, um really good it's a classic classic early early example of gay culture and uh um because there's i think it was written by an actual gay actor who was in it he played their gay neighbor oh really um that's the it's you see it on tiktok sometimes it, when he it's like the way you could get gay um, culture into the mainstream at that point. i may not know my flowers but I know a bitch when I see one. Have you ever heard that? <laughs> no. That's a clip I hear on TikTok sometimes or Instagram, and it's from that movie. Oh, great. Um, I'll send it to you. The Gay Deceivers. I told Johnny McGovern to watch it. I don't think he has yet. Johnny mm. McGovern has new content out. If you haven't heard Bussy yet. Bussy? Yeah, by Johnny McGovern. He's my um, all-time uh, content icon, and uh, he's got new music out. Fantastic. Um and but why were we talking about that the gay deceivers because of the war the, uh, the military draft, that it, were it, too fat for war yeah people are like oh well if you're gay or if you got flat feet no we're all too fat and crazy and sad yeah so think about that think about are you fat crazy and sad well you're probably not getting drafted think on period god to- I'm not getting drafted. That's for damn sure. I'd be more trouble than I'm worth. They'd bring me back. Yeah. <laughs> That's my grandparents always told me that. Um, Cause they'd say to like my girl cousins, I'm like, okay, so we'd be like at the mall, the food court. And they're uh-huh. like, can I go down to the store over here? They're like, yes. But if anybody tries to ask you to come with them, you say no. And I'd be like, how come you never say that to me? Yeah. And like, they'd bring you right back. And that was also probably six feet tall already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were, they were probably, okay. Look at her and look at you. Well, you, that looks like a child. You don't look quite like a child. Yeah. Um, you're not vulnerable. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I could, I'd you're probably, not, you're not a, I couldn't just be picked up. I think I weighed 150 pounds in fifth grade. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that funny? Lucius? Because, just the depiction of you trying to <laughs> trying to be abducted it's like wait what about me like somebody's trying to like yeah tra- somebody's trying to lure like a smaller child near me to something like and they're like no i don't know you and i'm like i don't know you either but i'm down i'm down what do you guys want to do something yeah you guys, you guys want to go to you guys want to go to the panda express <laughs> can we go to can we go to what was that what was the one like the hollywood store um fuck 
That was Fredericks, Hollywood. No, no, no. Suncoast? Sun... Suncoast? What Hollywood store? You're talking like in the mall? Yeah, and it had like... uh, It had like... um, Sun... Movie posters and action figures and stuff. Oh, I have no idea. Um... Mall stores. Suncoast. Mall stores. <laughs> the cl- yeah, Suncoast was the name. Motion Picture Company. Oh, man. I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah. It looks like a restaurant with that red neon. Yeah. Apparently, there are a couple... Man. There's one in Beaumont, Texas, and one in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Those are the last two. Nice. Um, but that was not dissimilar to if you were just doing the, the walkabout at the mall, you'd hit Spencer's, you'd hit Suncoast, maybe the GameStop or whatever the version of that Snickers. was. Uh, the Slacker. <laughs> Definitely the food court. Hitting the food court once for the free samples, picking one or two things to order items from. Um, you're hitting uh, journeys. Journeys. You're hitting. Um, uh, I never went into the big box stores on a normal mall visit. No, no, you stay away from those. You stay away from the big ones, but yeah. sometimes you do go to just Macy's or just Nordstrom's or j- no, I never. Yeah, went if to you're Nordstrom's. looking for pants. Yeah, if you need, if you want to go cry somewhere and buy yeah. some pants, you can go into the big ones, Dillard's. Yeah, go to you can go to like just peek in and Hollister. Famous I mean, bar. Didn't that guy just get arrested? Uh, Abercrombie. Uh, Abercrombie. Abercrombie. Yeah, the Abercrombie guy did. Um, Abercrombie. Hollister smelled better to me. Yeah, it did. It was pungent. Speaking of smelling good. Pungent. Smell my hand. Hmm. That is cedar and oud and amber soap that I got at Target. It's That's nice. my wife and I's favorite soap. We got three bottles of it, one for each of our sinks in our house. Yeah. And, uh, that's my favorite. Yeah. And that's kind of what the parts of that stuff that I liked. Cedar and oud. Oud. I do like I cedar. Oud. I love a sandalwood. Oh, I love sandalwood. Or a mahogany. Mm-hmm. There's a, um, a like car air freshener. That's like a mahogany teak wood. That's what it is. And that is fantastic. Former Abercrombie CEO Mike Jeffries pleads not guilty to sex crimes. But look at the picture of him. He looks like when Donald Glover wears that white guy mask for that show Atlanta. Oh my God! What, is, baby? What have you done to yourself? I'm not staying updated. I'm not signing up for anything. I mean, okay. Yeah. God damn it! You Who's know, paying thirty dollars to read an article about a sex criminal? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Um, sex crimes. Uh, this person wrote an article. Abercrombie and Fitch, how my investigation led to sex trafficking charges against ex-boss. Hmm. Um, mm, mm, mm. So, that's, you know, the dominoes are falling, folks. I hope you never did nothing to nobody, because they're coming for you. Yeah. Either Beyonce's going to throw you out a balcony, or the federal indictments are coming down. You, they're coming for your pizza boxes. They're coming. They, you better get rid of those pizza boxes. Recycle your fucking better plastic. Have returned your rentals. I still, I still have Million Dollar Baby on DVD from the Shop and Save Video Rental Department in Kirkwood. God, you know how big that rent late rental fee is going to be. No, they quit doing it. I couldn't return it. They quit <laughs> renting videos. Also, Shop and Save is gone. And and there's no longer Shop and Save. If I had returned my copy of Million Dollar Baby, they probably It'd would still, still be here. Be in it's the butterfly business. effect. It's like, um, and it grows. It compounds over time. Mm-hmm. What may have been a $9 copy of Million Dollar Baby to them at the time has grown into the collapse of an empire. Yeah. And probably colon cancer in my body because I was eating essential everyday brand shit as early as 1996 Mm -hmm. because um, it can't really be that bad just because it's cheaper, right? 
I ate half a bag of cinnamon toasters last night, which is a which is a uh, a version of cinnamon toast crunch uh, mm. made for poor people like myself, and uh, and I mean that more so in, in terms of my palate. Yeah, I do enjoy the tastes and smells of poverty. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Like I, a day I, old Pizza Hut box, or um, that budding meat you know like that dollar meat i saw boar's head truck Born on my way down. here me and my wife died laughing because they're out at schnooks they're out we broke that story here on this show first first this is the first place anyone ever talked about boar's head had blood on the floor and now schnooks said not around me schnooks has been boar's head exclusive here. for years and yeah. now they're going with deets and watson deets and watson which is another large um premium meats company hmm Deets and Watson. I was right. Yeah, you can't play around with Listeria. You give. I mean, they would have. That people would have quit. People would have made that decision for Chinooks. Deets and Watson is a old timey detective duo. Yeah, that's kind of what they look like. Meat processor. Best premium meats and artisan cheeses we can. It's a family thing. Deets. Um. And but there's some of those flavors we're gonna miss. We like the um, ever roast turkey. I love their uh, white American cheese. Um, it's just American. The though. oven gold turkey, the ever roast chicken, the buffalo chicken, the London broil, le boeuf, le boeuf. Um, yeah. The cheeses were great, uh, but you can't you can't have blood on the floor, kids. Yeah. Um, and I've always said that. Yeah, and I would say that their packaging was lackluster because you can't reseal that. They had the peel away and yeah. reseal. You can't reseal after so many times. Yeah. And like, I'm not eating cheese in one sitting, you know. I well, need, that's probably for the least. best. A lot of us are, and that's why we can't join the Navy. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we're eating too much of the cheese. Mm -hmm. If the cheese bag was more easily resealable, we could do a draft. Because people could have one slice of cheese and then seal that bag back up confidently. Sure. But when you sell them a shitty bag uh -huh. to save yourself a nickel, you create a whole generation of men who are too fat to go to war because they had to eat all the cheese in one sitting because the bag wasn't resealable. Can I get an amen? Hey, amen. Am I preaching today? Preach, baby. Oh, look, they have, they have Deets Nuts. Meat Bites. Mm. Deets nuts. Deets and Watson. Deets nuts. Meat bites. Well, this will be fun. New game in town. Um, R.I.P. to Boar's Head. Bye. Uh, bye, Felicia. Too expensive anyway. Yeah, I don't know that Deets and Watson is going to be as expensive. Yeah. Maybe it will be. I don't know. Um, if it's if it's Listeria free, I'm almost okay with it being the same price. Yeah. Because I just don't know that people should be filling up on cured meats all the time like this either. Call me crazy. No, I mean, that's... Have you heard about seed oils? Yes. I'm joking. I'm not doing that right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. The cured meats, well, it'll give you cancer. That, yeah. That'll give you stomach cancer. I mean, I just cancer. don't know if that's a good plan for a daily diet. Yeah. That's not because the stuff that's that's better for you that doesn't have this other stuff in it is not as good to eat. Yeah. So we got to figure something else out as a nation mm -hmm. and as a people. Guys, thanks for coming back to Jacob V Weekly. We love you. We'll be back next week. Uh, Jacob V dot com. J A C O B V I dot com. Patreon dot com slash Jacob V. There's seriously a dozen new things in the Patreon since last week. Even there's. Items for free members, which isn't common. There's, of course, numerous uh, exclusive things. I don't know if that will ever be seen anywhere else, and they're there right now. Some of them will be out in some version later. Some will not. Um, CaddyshackIL.org. Doorstop-studio.square.site. You can book anything you want to do in here. I do stuff in here all the time. It's one of my favorite things. It's centrally located. Um, there's a bathroom. Yes. And it's in a time of year now. It is the perfect temperature in here right It is now. so nice. I am right so now. comfortable right now. Yes, absolutely. Please come. Um, 
McDonald's is not a sponsor, but if you want to Venmo me $5, I'll eat another chicken Big Mac. He'll come to you and eat it. That might cost $6. Oh, okay. If I'm coming to you. Yeah. We could do it on Zoom, though, for 5 <laughs> That's a wrap, folks. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, Joe was going to come in. Clay's working late, so then Joe was going to come in, and then uh, Joe had a little traffic.